first night. Nerves come on edge, you know. This is a thrilling process, but uh, you never know what's gonna happen. Action. Dan, you want to explain a little bit what's going on right now? Getting hooked up for a stunt. Going for a slide. Chris Sofko, I am the Dan Yanker. I will yank Dan across the slip and slide to simulate a force push or pull with this contraption. You want to be yanked? <laughs> when you were going through it, was the end result what you pictured along the way, all the elements together? Like, is that what you envisioned? Or is that something that after you were done, you watched it and you're like, you know what, this is, this is not what I was picturing? It's technically nothing that I pictured. <laughs> all right, so what's the plan here? A, a phoenix. The darkness turns to light. It got blown off. Tarp, peed moss, and baby lotion. The world around him is coming down. His symbology and then we're gonna drag him across the ground. That's the first shot of the night. Where are you going? Come back. No, don't leave me out here. I'm here as a, no, don't leave. I think I'm gonna vote Mike off of the island. <laughs> it's better than anything that we could have came up with at the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's always like a compounding process. It just, it starts out as, or a refining process, I guess. It starts out as this big mass and then it just slowly gets cut down and chopped at and refined and retuned and mm -hmm. until it's, you know, something that we really, really enjoy and, you know, are happy with. All right, everybody set. And let's give this a shot in three, two, one. <laughs> You, me. That's what I got. That was cool. Alright, uh, yep. let me do one quiet, silent. Yeah, it's pretty solid. Okay. Yeah, pretty happy with that. Here's one thing to put it into perspective for everyone is we thought we had it pretty well planned out for five days and it wound up going 13. <laughs> More than double. this point, I don't know how many days it's going to take to finish the movie. I thought it was only going to be five. And here we are on day five, and by the time this day is over, we will only be halfway done. When I thought we would be done with the movie entirely today. Is that from coming up with ideas on the fly and changing things up primarily? Or like, what do you, what do you think was the main reason why? It so let's get into this. <laughs> let's, get in, let's get into the, the troubles of, of doing this. Can you know where you're going, Chris? Yeah, 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 I'm going to the obvious place. You're going to the obvious place. <laughs> to answer your question directly, CJ, no. Having the, changing the ideas did not extend the time. The, changing, the changes of ideas was to shorten the time, but there's a real culprit to why it took so long. Okay, well, I just like prepare for it because if I cut it early, then it goes away and it takes like a minute to get to them. But if I kind of keep it going, I'm just like trying to time it, trying to work it, moving up in the world. Okay, it's going that way. 
Damn it. That's going that way. That's great fog right there. That's great fog. Wait for some fog. We're getting there. Come over, fog. Get it out of here, Eric. Is this some more fog in the background? Fog. <laughs> so weird how the fog is changing. One second. I'm looking at fog. Um, it's just so hard to fill an environment with fog that it would take us probably, you know, 10 takes to get decent fog on a, on a bad night. You know, it, it all came down to, was the wind cooperating with us? Yes or no. And it just, it vastly affects the quality of how the shot looks. Because like I said, without it, it just wasn't looking good. But when it's perfect, it looks like it was made by a huge production team. Yeah, we, we tried to get as much practical motion in these shots as possible. Hey Chris, cool. what are you up to right now? Uh, we are making these little light ones into uh, lightning. So they sync up and then we hit the little button and they go flash. Maybe. <laughs> Great job, good, good work on that cue. Weighing down the tarp once again so we can drag Dan, but do it the right way this time. Pull it a little tighter, guys. No response. Chris, you look like you're slowly moving towards Matt. <laughs> <laughs> it was getting like harder and harder. <laughs> Right, cut. Three, two, one, hit it. Yeah. That was better. To really break it down, we took it in three parts, basically. Uh, the first was the initial Dan at the rock getting yanked down. And that was just me and I think Matt or me and Chris crouched down behind Dan with, with the mat behind Dan. And we were pulling down on Dan and he would just have to get sucked down. And that was it. That's all we needed for that okay. shot. And then we had Dan, I think we added a shot in later, but at first we just had Dan getting dragged away in, like, in a wide shot. But yeah. we learned that that didn't work. It looked comical. My ass hit the ground and I'm like, am I supposed to be moving? <laughs> uh, we had to add a closer shot of Dan kind of going from crouching position to getting yanked just to get that more falling impact to kind of connect the pieces. And then at once, then once we had him on the ground and starting to get dragged away, then we were able to have Dan just lay down and just lay flat. It was the best was just having him be still and then them just pulling him and getting faster as, we, as they mm -hmm. went. Yeah, I appreciate the heroes. Yeah. Yeah, you can bring close to the No one was asking the important question. I haven't slept. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris hasn't slept. We haven't slept in days. <laughs> I've had nothing but steak for the past six months to meet my protein needs. Uh, right now we're trying to pull Dan. Doing a uh, like a he's being pulled, dragged by the force, and I'm trying to figure out. Well, I'm trying to figure out if this doesn't work, what do we do? We do something else, or do, if this doesn't work, what can we do to make it work? I'm worried that he won't be going fast enough to make the shot look good. But I don't know with Chris moving, that will probably help him look like he's going faster than he is. I'm just worried that the setup won't sell the effect in the way that I think. We gotta go. We gotta go. Yeah? Okay, we're ready. Yeah, let's get set, everyone. Alright. 
pull, pull, pull her ready. Pull her, you're pull her, pullers. Ready. Dan, get ready. He's rolling. rolling. All right, I'm set. All right. Three, in three, two, one, hit it. That was pretty good. That looks so good. good. <laughs> that is how it's done. Hire me, Chris and Matt, for all your jerky needs. The biggest practical effect of all was our rain machine. So, so you're telling me that the rain in the film is not real rain. TJ, I hate to tell you. Um, Can't wait for the weather. That the rain. We had to fire the shaman. Not everything you see <laughs> is real. <laughs> <laughs> not everything you see is real. All right, go, go. Ready. I don't know where it is. It should be there. <laughs> Well, not if we had the rivet. Uh oh, it's filling with water. It's gonna burst in the middle. Oh, it's holding. It's holding. I don't know what that means. Wait, did you shut it off, Dan? Oh, that's, it's leaning. Oh, oh wait. Oh. Whoa, there we go. What's that? What'd you do? What'd you do? What do you mean, nothing? It's, uh, it's working. It's actually working really well. Look at the rock. <laughs> this is fucking stupid. All right, we're gonna win. <laughs> For BTS. Dan's just having a shower. <laughs> having a quick shower. Oh my god. It is muddy. You okay? It's slippery, isn't it? Yeah, alright. Okay, just be careful. Alright, ready? Dry run. Three, two, one. Dry run. Was the rain on you guys while you were acting or is that 80%? 80% of the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sometimes we were in the rain. Sometimes I would stand right underneath of it and get absolutely Dredged. obliterated by the oh rain. Oh my God. 100%. Well, Dude. the thing is too is these guys are, I mean, one night it was 38 degrees or something like that and they're getting soaking wet. So we would have to do a take. You know, I have a little valve on the side to shut off the water. So we do a take. And then we'd all scream, shut it off, shut it off. <laughs> Have a towel <laughs> off for Dan on set. He would just go over and he would be frozen to hell. And it'd be like uh, about here. And then you uh, face the camera that way, you'll see how it creates a texture on the ground. And that texture will go over our actor texture oh, okay okay you know what you know what different idea instead of having to move over if you stay here chris and just just do this pan with you no perhaps i got to see it i'm going to slide down with my knee oh you want me to come down a little bit so come down a little bit that way you can Emphasize come that way that. you can come up more. so really pop it yeah okay i see That's i didn't know that yeah I didn't not want to do longer takes. It's that we had to adapt to what the environment was giving us and, and just how 
because we didn't understand the process. I didn't understand how it was going to be like to shoot at night, shoot in the fog. And you don't have that same creative freedom to like have Chris move over here and then come over here in the same shot. Like, oh, you can't do that because the fog's over here and we can't get it to be over here at the same time. And the lighting. And the lighting can't be consistent. So we can't show, we don't want to show the light. We don't want to show because you get a big bloom right where the light's coming from. So we have to frame that out. Mm -hmm. And then essentially you can't film the other way because you don't want someone to be broadly lit because that uh, you lose depth that way. And then, yeah, their so, background would just be nothing. It's just very limited what was possible and what would look good for the look we were going for. Hit it. I fucking... What am I... That was insane, though. That looked amazing. Action. 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 Hit it. That was kind of a new trade-off. Yeah. So there are still some shots that I think, I mean, I've, uh, people complain each year about the shaky cam. We love doing that sometimes. But there were some shots this year where I would have liked to do either another take or a different angle, and we just didn't have that flexibility to um, to do things. But that just came with the territory of uh, of this new environment. And like we said, if we had more control, that would have been easy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but um, with every project, there are those things that uh, that you know could have been better. Um, oh, 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 CJ, uh, I want you to ask about the costumes. Okay. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> we have to tell that story. <laughs> you know what? She had this on camera, CJ. I put this on the wrong foot. What an embarrassment. This guy leads us. Cancel me. Cancel me. I can't tell my left from right. Cancel I understand why she charges us that much. Alright, great, Chris. She deserves it. Sometimes just that fire. Stupid. Is that uncomfortably tight? No. Uh, all right, so uh, tell me about the costumes for this film. Why do they suck? <laughs> what, are you, what are you alluding to, my colonial outfits? Well, we're going for the. Have, have you ever seen Patriot? Yeah, right. <laughs> Patriot. Patriot. Mel Gibson. It looks like an explorer. Oh my god, the shoes! Oh, right. I like the cape. Like the it looks settler. like you really set out. They, to you find look kind of colonial. Is that okay? That's great. You That's do look a little colonial, though. Is that bad? Right, hey, what's going on? You should know, right? Yeah, yeah good. like uh, I conquering see what America. I see what but it's not bad. He won't look. He's just standing there. Seventeen. He's just standing there. Seventeen. He's just standing there. Seventeen. Uh, the costumes to me are like, <laughs> I, oh, oh. I, I'm a stickler for costumes and like, they do a good enough job in this scene, but the fact that there's like buttons like on their sleeves and all down their front speaks a little too much of the real world to me. You know what? It doesn't feel like a, a Star Wars entry for me. It kind of feels like they're in colonial times. It feels like, like a sleepy hollow horror movie to me. And that's what I like about it. Which I mean, it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> so we had we had I had ordered costumes, two outfits that in their photos looked really good on Etsy, and like oh these this is the look they come from the same company. It gives off this feel that like me and Dan have like a kind of like talks about talks to our background of like oh are they do they know each other are they cut from the same cloth kind of thing. Very um, similar but different. Similar but different. Like... And then they finally came in, three hundred and fifty dollars later. They, they look nothing like they do in the photo. They fit nothing like they do that they're supposed to. Mm -mm. Uh, they were terrible. They're basically just bottom line. They're terrible. We couldn't even we couldn't even put them on to wear them. Well, and then what wound up happening is this was one week or two weeks before we yeah. start filming. Oh yes, this is the week before. They took a while to ship, right? Yeah. It took me well. It took me so long to find costumes. I couldn't find anything that. <laughs> I liked for this movie because so many unknowns of like what this is tone and the style of the movie. Like we had an idea, but then that kept changing. Might as well. It's, and it's also the week before we start shooting. Let's just get whatever costumes, whatever, whatever clothes we can find on Amazon that will come in this week. So we just ordered like whatever outfits that were 20 bucks 
on Amazon that looked <laughs> like nothing. We kind of, I mean, you just have to chuck it up to production problems. I mean, but we, like, we, like Mike and I were saying, is like that was the only thing that this was missing. Uh-huh. That was the only thing. What are you going to do? You know, I, nothing. I didn't even know anything about the costumes. I, I just assumed what you guys had was... Was what we wanted? <laughs> yeah. No, no. <laughs> Welcome to the set. We're on set with the boys. The boys are swinging their swords. But what does that mean? It means we're going to capture the action right now. This is a tiny bird.